External disturbance detected. Cryogenic chambers compromised. Chamber Omega-5 online. Initiating emergency nanotrite activation. Three, two, one. Nanotrite sequencer online. Release cryogenic chamber seals. Internal arc temperature nominal. Rebooting internal data systems. All nanotrite bio-augmentation systems fully deployed. Nanotrites active. Current position unknown. Remote location beacon offline. Running full diagnostic tests. Arc external pressure seals fully released. Safe egress is now confirmed. Outer door lock disengaged. safe here. Get in. I know you got questions, but we gotta get moving. Got bandits all over these hills. We best get going. I'm Dan Hager, and you are one lucky son of a bitch. You know, ARC survivors are worth a lot of money to whoever hands them over to the authority. You don't even know the authority yet. Well, I guess you don't know anything about any of this. <laughs> Welcome to the future. Hold on. Got bandits. Damn shame you're still wearing that ARC suit. It's a dead giveaway. Pretty much their world out here. Probably looking for their buddies. Damn, now we both got a problem. We need to get to my place. Once they see what I've done, they'll be coming for blood. And for you. 
I've got a plan that might get us both out of this mess. Ah, here we are. Home sweet home. We need to talk. Get out of the buggy. Come on, this way. You know, I put a lot at risk to save you. Not just my life, but the lives of everyone here. I survived this long by staying out of trouble. Saving you. So here's what I need you to do. Head to where those bandits live and wipe them out, plain and simple. No one walks out alive, except you. You can use one of my ATVs in the garage and that pistol and the supplies on the table. Oh, and you won't just get my thanks. Come back alive and I'll dig up some armor that'll fit over that arc suit you're wearing. We got it. One more thing. Those bandits shouldn't be too hard to take down. Not for you. I hear there's something special about you arc people. I need to chase him down. Get him now. Leave him to me. <laughs> Well, well, look at what Hagar said to us. How dare you think you can walk into our house? Take him to the kill room. Ah, you're awake. Good. I like my prey to know what's coming. I promise this will hurt. <laughs>
Over there! Good work. We're all a little safer because of that. You got our thanks and that suit of armor I promised. But as you can see, we got other trouble. Listen, the settlement was attacked while you were gone. Bunch of bandits we've never seen before. They didn't take anything, they just came for the kill. We have some good people hurt. And we're running low on medical supplies. I'm gonna need your help again. Just past the hill across the way, you'll find another settlement. They tend to stick to themselves, but they're friends. And they have what we need. Just give this letter to Richter. He'll know what to do. If you help me again, I'll make sure our mechanic in town says thank you. And before you go, make sure you got everything you need. Ammo, wing sticks, if not, See Halleck. He's right under the old sign out front. <clears throat> Welcome, stranger. Name's Halleck, and it's a pleasure meeting you. 
I run this little shop. Got enough supplies here to keep you alive and fighting. Best stuff in the wasteland. Oh, and uh, if you find something of value and you don't need it, bring it here. I pay nicely for quality goods. Care to uh, browse my selections? I might have something you need. Hope to see you again soon. Comfy. Oh no, please, don't get up. So, you must be Dan's new guy. Well, since you're down here, I could use a hand figuring out these tremors before the entire settlement collapses. Damn, another hole to plug. We're running out of time. Well, get in there and see what you can find. I'm going higher up. And hey, plenty more mutants around. Try to stay upright, okay? Oh, name's Sarah. Remember it.
stone unturned. Monsters! I love you, I love you, I love you! Yesterday now. <laughs> X marks the spot. This is the last one. Did you hear him? Man, huh? feeling about this. Those bandits you ran into called themselves Scorchers. Bunch of insane bastards. A few years ago, you couldn't walk 50 feet without catching hell from a group of them. But after a while, they pretty much disappeared. You'd hear people talking now and then about some awful things they've done, but no one knew anything for sure. I overheard some of them talking about a slick refinery. It has something to do with feltrite and oil. Coming from scorchers, it could be psycho nonsense, but we have to find out for sure. Head over there and see if you can learn anything about Firestorm. Meet me in Wellspring when you're done. I've got a guy at Jackpots who might know something. Here, take this. Might come in handy. I need you to find the Outrigger settlement and return here with those medical supplies. I need you to find the Outrigger settlement. Hey, buddy. Come to look over the goods? I might have something you need. Hope to see you again soon.
It's my best friend! It's cold in here! Fix it up! Time to burn! Fire finds everything! Down below! Hold that line! Aye, aye, sir! Place. You won't like me! What's that noise? It's down below!
light it up! Mount its head! Let him know a secret! Tonight is group night, asshole. There it is. Don't burn it yet. Here it is. Shake a leg. Get up there. Unlike me. It sneaks behind. Looking for Richter. He's up there. If you got business here, go and talk to Richter. He's the man in charge. You need something strange? Hmm. Well, Dan's run into some trouble again, I see. Well, Janice is going to need to see this list. Go on. She's just up there. You're the note, but when you're done, come back here. I may have something that'll interest you. You must be one of Dan's new boys. Let me see what you need. Hmm. Some of these things I'll need to track down. But you know the way it works here. We help you, you help us. Right? A member of our group, Juno, went missing a few days back. And I'm getting real worried about him. So while I gather your supplies, how about you go look for him? If you find any trace of him, I'll reward you with my own recipe for making healing bandages. And good luck, and I pray that he's safe. Couldn't help but notice, stranger, that gun you're carrying isn't much of anything. Could set you up with some real firepower. Help us out here, and I'll give you a real... Our radio tower up on the hill stopped working. We need someone to fix it. Yeah, probably just out of alignment. Good luck. This should be an easy job. For a smoke? What the bloody Get it!
Over there! Down there! He's on the right! Follow me! Move it up! Oh, he's up! He's up there! Go, bitches! Not bad, stranger. Didn't know about the mutants. We usually don't get them this far out. You did good, though. See Janice. She's waiting to hear what you found. Juno's dead? I knew something was wrong, but I had hoped he would show up. This world takes so many good people. But thank you for looking, and here is what you need, as well as the plans to make your own healing bandages. Just look for the things listed and put them together. They will help you whenever you are hurt. Thank you again, and good luck. With Juno gone, I can't leave my post. But we need to warn the nearby settlements that we've got muties in the area. Can you help me out with this? Excellent. Now, take this firework cluster and shoot it off on the ridge. I've got a lot. Be safe, Strange.
good work. I'm starting to think I made a good decision by saving you. You truly are someone we can trust, and I am in your debt. Now go talk with DR about that buggy. Look for him in the garage. Hey, buddy. Dan said you were taking that old buggy off my hands. Truth is, not a bad vehicle, but, see, it needs work and parts. The work, I can do, but the parts, you're gonna need to get. Johan, back at the Outrigger settlement, should be able to help. Okay, see you back here when you get the parts. Hey, pal. Care to browse my good? I might have something you need. Hope to do business with you again. from here. Great job. And here's what I promised you. So, DR needs some parts for that old buggy. Hmm. Man, he should just junk it. Now, I'd like to give the parts to you, but I'm afraid I have a small problem. Afraid bandits raided my garage not too long ago and ran off with most of my spare parts. You're gonna need to go down to their hideout near the old dam and find what you need. Think you can handle this? Could get a bit. It won't be easy taking on the bandits on their own turf. Here, take some fat boys for your pistol. That ammo kicks some real butt. And in case you run into any locked doors, take it. When you get the parts, Bring them straight to DR. More dangerous. Bandits and mutants moving in closer. Stay sharp in those ruins out there.
working on downstairs? Oh, fuck <laughs> you! Oh! 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 Need help here! Chop, chop! You're Move mine! Oh! All right, moving up! Tossinated, the fucker! Shut up, move up! Move it up! Oh, we're gonna need some help here! Pull back! Okay! Edge up! Oh, where's that bloody bag? Oh. Hey, over there! Oh, we're losing! Oh. There he is! Frag, you fucker! Eat this, you wanker! He's on me! Hey, right, over there! Right. I've got a special mission! Don't let him get past Need help here! Jump! Oh, fuck this! Retreating! There he is! Someone has here! No way! This is crazy! Hey, did you catch that episode of Bash TV last night? Fuck yeah! Who's the- Move back! Don't let him pass! Fall him back! I'll get you! He's got- He fucking hell! We're gonna need some help here! Right. Oh. Oh.
Did you hear Those parts should do the trick. Okay, the buggy will be ready soon, but there are a couple things you have to know before you take that thing out for a ride. Remember, the Wasteland is a dangerous place. Give me a call if you ever smash your vehicle up and can't drive it. I'll give you a lift back here. And also, if you need any repairs, just drive back to the garage and I'll fix her up. Okay, let me get these parts installed and you'll be all set. Go ahead and grab that radio on the counter there. You're ready to go. Take it out for a spin, but remember, call me if you need a tow. Drive carefully. Hey, pal. Care to browse my goods? I might have something you need. Hope to do business with you again. How do you like that buggy? <laughs> it isn't much now. But you put some guns on it, and you'll be able to go up against just about anything. Now, you ready for some more work? Some bandits have taken control of the checkpoint at the canyon entrance, trying to cut us off from the big town to the east. And we can't let that happen. I need you to use your special talents for a demolition job. You think you can do this for me? I'll even let you use my trusty sniper rifle for the job. Excellent. Here are some explosive charges. Just place them on the gate and run. Good luck.
partner. You're looking good out there. Here to test your skills on a course? Come back and see me if you dare. Out. Great work. You know, you being here has made this area a lot safer for me and my family. We are in your debt. So now that we can travel safely, it looks like our time together may be coming to an end. I'd like to keep you here. A guy like you is valuable in a place like this. But you're just going to attract too much attention, and that'll bring in the authority. But there is one more thing I need you to do. Mayor Clayton runs the town of Wellspring to the east, and I gotta get a message to him. And you, you're the only one that can do it. Our supplies are getting low, and the mayor's promised help. We need to get restocked before the bandits cut us off again. Can you make the trip? I knew I could count on you. Remember, you ain't got any guns on that buggy of yours. You run across any bandits. I've put together my own little time trial race. You want to give it a go? Nothing too challenging. It's just a little course that I race on. Tell you what, beat my time, friend, and I'll give you a nice little boost upgrade for your buggy. You want to give it a shot? Good luck. You all set? You beat my time, and the boost upgrade is yours. Well, I am impressed. You are, as we say, a natural behind the wheel. And wait till you feel the boost kick in on that old buggy. Stranger, you got business here? You need to see Mayor Clayton. Wait a sec, I'll tell him you're here. Don't you move. Hello, sir. Got a man here to see you. Looks like Dan sent him. Interesting. Send him to me right away. The mayor can see you now, but hold on. We got a few rules here in Wellspring. You see, people don't exactly take to strangers here. Just you keep your head down and mouth shut, and you'll do just fine. Folks here are mighty suspicious. They aren't gonna just trust you, at first. My advice? Best keep to yourself. Okay? To get to the mayor's office, just cross the courtyard once you're in town. Can't miss it. <laughs> Welcome to Wellspring, stranger. 
Best little town this side of what passes for civilization and a few good safe miles from any authority outpost. Nicest people you'll ever find live right here. Friendly folk. Not your wasteland bandit scum. Good honest people. Well, enough with all that. So I hear you have a message from our friend Dan. Let's have it then. Having some trouble with bandits in the settlement again. Dangerous life out there. Deadly even. Well, I can get all this stuff he needs. Gonna take some time though. Not sure how long. He must really respect you to give you this important job. So for now, I'll trust you too. You can stay here in Wellspring while I'll get his supplies, but not dress like that. You'll bring the authority sniffing around, and I sure don't need that. So, you'll need to lose the arc suit for something a bit more modern. <laughs> Go see the vendor in town. Get some good. Glad we understand each other. When you come back, we can have another little chat. Will you look at how you're dressed? <laughs> hmm? A man from the past walks through my door, goes to show you that no one needs nothing around here. But let's first talk about that suit you're wearing. I can take it off your hands for a fair trade and get you something uh, a little less, well, noticeable. Each of the suits possesses unique characteristics. It's up to you to decide what works best for you. Very nice. A man with taste, I see. An excellent selection. Remember, I buy and sell all manner of goods here. That's much better. Now you look like any other good, hard-working citizen. But we got another problem. You see, you can't just leave your vehicles parked outside my town. We're civilized here. We have rules. And since it looks like you're gonna be here a while, you're gonna need a place to park your stuff. Go see Mick across the way in the garage. He can help you. Got After you talk to Mick, go see Sheriff Black. He should have Dan's supplies all set by then. <laughs> You're gonna like our sheriff. Well, well, well. How'd it do to you? And what can Mick do for you? Oh, a garage? Well, you've come to the right place. So here's the deal. Fairest in the wasteland. You let me do all the repairs on your vehicles, and guess what? That covers the rent for the space. What a deal! And I see you got one of them shortwave radios. Mighty handy here, mighty handy indeed. So if you get into a jam and need a tow, why, just get on the radio and give me a blast. <laughs> How's that for service? That door there will get you into your garage. Or just drive up to the main gate outside and I'll let you in. Couldn't be any easier. And lastly, welcome to town. Let me guess, you're the stranger that Clayton says is taking some stuff to Dan's place. I'm afraid it isn't gonna happen quite so easily as that. No way I'm sending all these supplies with you in an unarmed buggy. Might as well dump the damn stuff on the road. What you gotta do here is see Rusty by the track entrance. He can get you all set up with some guns, you got it? 
Get some firepower. Then you can come back and take the supplies to Dan. Maybe you didn't hear me. Good people of Wellspring. Sheriff Black has received disturbing reports of mutant sightings. Hey, my friend. Greetings. Name's Jackie Weeks, and I'm the Empresario who runs all the high-speed races in Wellspring. And I do mean all. If you're interested in testing your skill, you can go talk to my business associate over there, Slim. He can get you all set up to race. And do come back if you feel the need for some speed. Welcome, friend. Name's Carl, but seems like everyone calls me Slim. <laughs> Funny, huh? All right, the deal is, if you want to race, you talk to me. Now, just take a look at all the events we have here, find something you like, and assuming you meet the requirements, then you're in. All the prizes aren't racing certificates, you know? Good to get new vehicle upgrades at Rusty's. <laughs> well, everyone needs those. Parts for sale here. Care to browse my selections? Drive like you mean it, friend. Good job. Those guns should keep you safe. Min off. Go ahead and grab the supplies now and just blow anyone away that tries to stop you. I move out. You were. Didn't the authorities say it had stabilized the cost? Well... Hey, fella. Looking for work? Well, let me give you some advice. Your reputation is everything here. If people don't know you, they don't like you. And you gotta earn their respect. Best way to do that is by making the road safer. Simply stated, destroying bandits. Makes people like you and brings business into my little bar. So I'll make a deal with you. Every bandit car you destroy in the wasteland, I'll reward you. A little. I'll make money. You make money. We got a deal? Excellent. I think you're learning how things work around here. Working together, we can keep this city clean and safe. Thank you.
Good to see you again, friend. Almost gave you up for lost. And I see you ditched that arc suit. <laughs> Why, you could almost pass as one of us. Did old Clayton come through? I know you took some chances getting these back to me, but these supplies will really help my people. I always pay back any favors, so I want you to have my pride and joy. The Desert Striker Crossbow. Not your typical bow. It has twice the punch, and no one will hear you use it. Now for the bad news. We've seen some authority patrols not far from here. They must have heard there's an Ark survivor somewhere. You best get back to Wellspring until things quiet down. And good luck, my friend. You were mighty helpful for me and my people. And it sure be nice having someone like you around here. Mayor Clayton and well, Sheriff Black been asking about you. You in high demand. Remember, Remember if you run out of ammo for the guns on your buggy, you can always Thank buy more you. from both coffee and supplies and rusty by the racetracks. Good, you're back. I can use someone with your skills. Little problem up north that I need someone to check out. Bandits been digging in a crater north of here, and rumor has it they're refining pure feltrite. And in their hands, that's dangerous stuff. I'm gonna need you to run up there and take a look, get me a sample of whatever the bandits are making. You'll have a long drive to get there, through some mighty dangerous areas, so make sure you're well stocked with supplies before you head out. You made it back. Good thing. Got a problem, and I believe you might be the man for the job. The North is a dangerous place for small buggies like yours. Afraid you're gonna need something with a little more muscle. You need to get your hands on a Caprino. I got supplies I need to run up North, but come back when you have the right wheels, alright? The easiest way to get a Caprino is to win one. Try Jackie Weeks. He can set you up with just the right kind of race. Attention! The Dusty 8 sponsored event is now open. Always up. Are you looking for a better set of wheels? Then the Dusty 8 sponsored event is just what you need. This event gives our local business leaders a chance to show what they've got for sale. A little promotion mixed in with all that speed and the mayhem. Win-win, as I say. The best racers win the best cars. You want to race? Then you'll need a sponsor. I hear the guy that runs that show Mutant Bash TV or something like that is looking for a driver. Maybe you should talk with him. <laughs> you can find his little shack of horrors down by the Southern Highway. Just look for the sign with his face on it. 
Listen, my friend. Not bad. Good people of Wellspring. Sheriff Black has received disturbing... Good luck. Look here! A new face, a new body. Oh, I am so glad I got out of bed this morning. <laughs> Let me guess. You need a sponsor. Great! Muy bueno! We are simpatico, eh? <laughs> you want a sponsorship, and I need a contestant. The game is easy. You enter my little arena, and the game begins. Rule's pretty simple. Kill or be killed. You make it through alive, give me a good show, and you'll have your sponsorship. Easiest sponsorship in the wasteland. You ready? Excellent! Put a good show on and I'll put it in reruns for years. <laughs>
Contestant this month. Here's your sponsorship letter. Good luck in the race. But, but, but now before you go, care to star in another episode? I've got big money prizes.
Come on, Sarah. If I knew anything, anything about the Scorchers, I would have told you already. Clive, you're making this worse. Just tell me what they're up to. I really don't see why it's necessary to keep this up. I mean, honestly, if I were withholding information, do you really think I'd risk this? How many drinks can I serve with only one hand or one foot? Or worse, come on, Sarah, cut it out. No, don't worry I'll about Clive over there. We'll he used to be a Scorcher. On, please. cut it. Now he has to hide out here to dodge his old crew. Anyway, you look like you've been through hell. What did you find at the refinery? Firestorm is a flying gunship and, and slick as fuel? If they're close to getting this off the ground, no one will be safe, not even in Wellspring. Time's up, Clive! Wait, wait! I can get you into their base! And why should I believe you? If I know the Scorchers, they'll kill everybody. Including me. So how do I shut it down? Oh no! If they find out that I helped you, then there ain't nothing in Wellspring that'll keep me safe. Next to them, you're just a bully. A uh, hot bully. Ugh, fine. What's it gonna take? Just get me out of the wasteland. As far from the Scorchers as possible. <laughs> Please, you can't be serious. I'd need my own ship to get you that far. Look, I'm screwed either way. Find me a way out or deal with Firestorm on your own. I suggest you talk to J.K. Styles about his latest promotion. I hear Oasis is beautiful this time of year. We don't have much choice. We need Clive's help if we're gonna do this. I'll keep an eye on him here. You get a ticket from Styles. If you have trouble getting into Bash TV, talk to the race promoter in town. a sharp increase in bandit activity north of the city. Please restrict all non-emergency travel until it's <laughs> Care to browse my selection? I have all the best supplies. You're doing business with Hello. It's been a long time since LJK had a driver in this event. I do hope you can drive as well as you shoot. Now go see Slim, and good luck to you. Check out what races are available. Good luck!
parts for sale here. Excuse me. I'm glad you got yourself something that won't fall apart in a fight. And it's perfect for the little task I... The Northern Watchtower needs to be resupplied, but the bandits won't make the trip easy. Luckily, I think you're the guy to do it, now that you've got a vehicle with a little more armor. It won't be easy. You think you're up for it? Good luck. My men can't wait forever. You need to get those supplies run up to the Northern Watchtower. Contestant, welcome back. As before, the game is simple. This time, though, it's a little more challenging, but for a contestant like you, <laughs> no problem. So, you ready for episode two? Excellent, excellent. Just pass through the doors one more time, and good luck.
watching reruns of you for a long time. As before, the game is simple. This time, though, it's a little... supplies. You watch yourself heading back. Got bandits all over. Great work. Heard my guy in the tower was mighty happy to see you. And here's a little something for your effort. Now that you've been up north, I bet you've seen those small remote bomber cars in the canyon. Big trouble those have become. They're made by the Shrouded Clan. Smart bunch of bandits. And to keep that canyon safe, we need those things stopped. What I need you to do is get in. Well, good work. Guess you were the right man for the job. I knew those bandits were up to something. This is good proof. But whatever it is you got there, it can't be safe, that's for sure. I want you to take it to someone who can tell us what it is, and whatever the hell we better do about it. Old man Kavas here. Hermit lives by himself. He's a pretty smart guy. Take that sample to him. He can take a look at it, test it, and tell us what those bandits are up to. I'll let Kavas here know you'll be coming. Crazy guy doesn't take to strangers just popping in on him.
You still heading to Kavasir's settlement? Due north of here. Get him that Feltride sent. Sheriff Black has received disturbing reports of mutant sightings in the Western Territories. As you all... Let's see what you have there. Put it on the counter and we'll see what has Clayton all worried. Hmm. Interesting. Felt right. Okay, I need to run tests on this. Might take some time. But you, you also look interesting. There's something different about you. Best I take a closer look at you too. Interesting, very interesting. You got all those little computers racing around inside you. Secrets, secrets. Everyone's got a little secret. And you must be one big little secret. Haven't met one of you for a long time. Since working with the Authority up in the city. You don't know how lucky you are that the Authority hasn't found you yet. <laughs> If the Authority catches you and you don't have anything they need, you'll be dead. You are part of the old world, not part of their new world. Of course, there are people who stand up against them. Not many of them. They call themselves the Resistance. Not that I profess to have any special knowledge of them. But they exist in small bands, fighting back, and maybe... Just maybe you could be useful to them. You survived this long. You must have some survival skills worth using. But you aren't going to last long in a firefight against the Authority with that standard defibrillator in your chest. I can give you an upgrade for it. Something that might keep you alive longer. But that will require a little effort on your part. You see, I don't have the necessary equipment here. But you can find what you need in the dead city. A well-named place, as you will soon see. 
In the middle of the city is a hospital, one I was proud to work in, until the research took a decidedly twisted turn. I didn't see everything that was done there, but I heard the rumors. Now it's surrounded by a tremendous wall filled with living memories of the horrors committed there. Going there and getting back won't be easy. But with the hospital is in the middle of the city. Find your way into the basement. Look for anything relating to the ARC program. That should be the place to find that upgrade. Oh yes, I almost forgot. The only way into the city is through the sewers outside the walls. Good luck. Now go. Find that upgrade, while I...
it back in one piece. Now, just stay still and I'll get that defib upgrade installed. Shouldn't hurt. Too much. Okay, there you are. Now, you have twice the resurrection power. And I do believe that you will need it. Remember, the authority is ruthless. Alone, it is only a matter of time before they get you. Your future will lay ultimately with the Resistance. But that isn't the path we need to take now. All right, I've finished analyzing the Feltrite sample you brought. What the bandits are trying to do, successfully it would seem, is refine the Feltrite into an explosive accelerator. Very dangerous in their hands. This piece has been neutralized, but you best bring it to Clayton. He needs to know what he may be facing. Take it to him. Come again soon, my friend from the past. You're pretty handy with those guns. I hope to see you again soon. You're back. Wow. Where's the ticket? Finally. Goodbye, Rocky shithole. Not so fast, Clive. How do we get into that base? All right, all right, here. Don't ask me how I got it, but take this access card. That'll get you past the security system. Some of the maintenance tunnels beneath Wellspring have been sealed off to keep mutants from wandering into town. That card will get you into the tunnels. From there, just follow that pretty little nose of yours all the way into the base. <laughs> Good luck. Scorchers love visitors. He's right. The Scorchers will throw everything they've got at us. Gear up and meet me back here as soon as you can. Good people of Wellspring. Sheriff Black has received disturbing reports of mutant sightings in the Western Territories. As you all know, Very interesting. And very troubling. Thank you for helping us with this. Take this for your troubles. You have proven yourself to be very capable and reliable. And best of all, <laughs> you even came back alive. I'm sure Sheriff Black will have some work for you. You see, you're beginning to gain a reputation, friend. You think you can do this? 
Take these plans, build bombs yourself, and use them against those bastards. Awesome race. Let's move out if you have everything you need. These shorts aren't exactly battle. Come on, we need to get moving.
Wanna know a secret?
noise. Manhunt! Ring the dinner bell! My, my, my! My storm will be manhunt! It's cheating!
Try something else. <sighs> Thanks. I was getting sick of uh, <laughs> hanging out. Wow, you really did a number on that thing. I'm guessing the Scorchers won't be rebounding from this anytime soon. And the settlers of the wasteland certainly owe you one. And they're not alone. Come on, let's head back. Now that Clive's halfway to Oasis, we can have a drink in peace. Let's say we grab a few in Wellspring. You know, to celebrate saving the world and all. Oh, I'm glad that's over. It was so nice of Mayor Clayton to give us Clive's place since he's gone missing. I guess it's the least he can do since we just saved everyone from those crazy scorchers. Why don't you have a look around? After today, I won't be taking bounties for a while, so if you ever want to come and see me again, I'll be here. Technically, I was about to save myself. I'll be here. set of wheels you want.
is clear.
takes care of him. the northern passage. Now that is another bit of good work. Those little RC bombs were nasty. Now, thanks to you, they're gone. What? Uh, something's got Carlson setting off that well alarm again. Go see what the problem is. Probably just another false alarm. Thank you for keeping our roads safe. Well, it's about damn time they sent someone to help me. Hell, this situation is turning critical. You hear that? Critical. Gotta be dealt with fast. So, oh, my name is Carlson, and I manage the well. I was down there inspecting some equipment when a clan of bandits burst in and started ransacking the place. I barely made it out alive. Now they're threatening to poison our water supply. Know what that'll do? Strangle the town. Can't let that happen. Hell no. We need these bandits dealt with, and it looks like you're our only hope. Good. Stop whoever is doing this and get that toxin before they poison the water. I've got some electro bolts I can give you. If a bandit is foolish enough to stand in any water, shoot the water. Now, go, and good luck. They jumped us. <coughs> Came out of nowhere. You gotta help us. There's some bandits around the corner. Use those electro bolts. Do what you can. Yeah, easiest job ever. Hey! Find him. He's trying to flank you.
stay alert. It's a fucking mess of Who's that?
rip your face now! You're mine! <laughs> Down here! This way! Let's go! There! Let's go! Get oh. that damn gate No way! Working on it now! All that hell! Get to that toxic canister! He's behind us! Great job. I'll stay down here. Get that toxin out of Incredible you made it back alive. You just saved an entire town from certain death. I'm sure those bandits will think twice about messing with us again. Now about that toxin. I don't know what it is about it, but I know it isn't safe. Old man Kavasir should see it. Maybe he can figure out what it is. I just know I don't want it around here. Too dangerous. I need you to take it to him. Maybe he'll know what to do with it if those bandits ever try to use it again. A lot to ask, I know. But can you make the trek up north? Get him to examine the toxin. Thanks again for your help. Be careful out in the wastelands. And don't let that toxin fall into the wrong hands.
Hello again, my friend. Yes, my friend. Time to analyze exactly what it is you have here. Let me look at this. Ah, interesting. Very powerful stuff here. Bandits getting very clever indeed. Hmm, what's this? Wait. I think I could... Hold on. Let me try something. Look at this. That's something. Ah, yes, you see, you have indeed brought me something of great interest and great power. I have been working day and night to create a new kind of weapon for the Resistance. A weapon that would make even the Authority grow cautious. I have had some small success. Injecting simple chains of nanotrites directly into a subject, allowing them to be controlled. But it only works for a brief time. And I am afraid the controlled victim eventually reaches nanotrite overload and... simply... explodes. Messy, short-lived, uh, but still within its limitations, quite powerful. But now, this toxin you have so thoughtfully brought for my inspection is exactly what I need to complete the formula. You just give me a moment here. Ah, yes, that is it. Perfect, really perfect. Let me get it all packaged for you, and you can take it back. This is an important day for the Resistance, my friend. So here it is. A sample bunch of mind control darts. Enough for the Resistance to begin using and testing. And they should be able to easily replicate the formula to produce more. And now, here is where you come in. Find my friend Elizabeth Cadence. She will be in the Wellspring Bar. Get to her quickly with these darts. I know there's been trouble and she will need them. Do you understand? Good. You take care, my friend. Don't let the darts fall into the wrong hands. Something from Kavasir? It's not safe to talk here. Should. Follow me. This way. The bar isn't safe. The Authority has ears everywhere, and anyone could be an informant. You probably have a lot of questions, but now is not the time. We've had our eye on you from the start. Many of your kind ally with the Authority, 
so I had to make sure that you didn't fall victim to Cross's propaganda before exposing our movement. The Resistance. You've developed quite a reputation with the settlers. The Resistance could use a man of your skill for an important mission. Captain Marshall, our leader, has been taken prisoner and is being held in the old prison. I don't know how long they'll hold him there, and we can't get anyone else here in time to help free him. Not anyone with your kind of experience. We can't let them transfer him to Capital Prime. The Resistance would be severely damaged. So, that's what I need from you, stranger. Rescue Marshall before he disappears forever. Good. You'll need the security access card. It'll get you through the perimeter gate. But keep an eye out for enforcers. The Authority has increased patrols since Marshall's capture. Oh, and don't forget to use those mine snare darts Kvasser gave you. The enforcers may look like robots, but inside all that combat armor, they're still flesh and blood. Good luck. Without Marshall to lead us. Good job. Attention security units. Prison transfer scheduled for 1600.
security systems online.
through th Good shooting. Now watch my back while I place this. Company. Okay, I've overloaded the module. Take cover! This way. I can bypass the control panel and we can use it to get out of here. Just a moment, let me try this. I can see a way out for me, but you'll need to find another way. Go back to Elizabeth. I'll meet you there. Target's behind that wall. Target at 12 o'clock. You're pretty handy with those guns. I hope to see you again soon.
I'm glad you made it back. Thank you again for rescuing me. Elizabeth tells me you're a man we can trust. <laughs> Someone who can help us in the fight against the Authority. But now, after what happened in the prison, the Authority will know about you, and they'll know you're from the Arcs, which means they'll be looking for you. Trust me, you don't want to fall into their hands. So, whether or not you like it, <laughs> welcome to the Resistance. Our group is small but dedicated. We fight against the Authority in any way possible. And in this world, information is power. Come to think of it, I bet your ID drive is still in your arc. You, like all arc survivors, were assigned an ID drive. A micro drive that contains important information about the arc program. Information such as locations of strategic arcs, supply caches, DNA records, who knows what. Anyway, each drive contains a unique piece of the puzzle. So as you can guess, those drives are critical to both the Authority and the Resistance. So there isn't much time. Now they know there's a survivor loose, they'll be looking for your Ark. You're gonna need to return there and retrieve that drive. Do you understand how important this is? Excellent. Now each drive is DNA encoded, so look for the bioscanner in the control system and use that to retrieve your drive. Good luck. And hurry. Don't waste time here. You need to retrieve that ID drive. The information contained on it could be vital to the Resistance. Ejected.
missile. Did you? Excellent work. You're a major asset to the Resistance. I'll get this drive to Lassard as soon as we get back to our base. Hopefully he'll be able to uncover what's on it. But as of now, time is against us. And it's becoming more dangerous for you here. But... Go on. Tell him. We've still got some unfinished business. Before I was captured, I was en route to the old Authority Research Facility in Dead City. I was looking for some type of proof of what the Authority was doing with the mutants. Yes. We've got reports that the Authority has reprogrammed nanotrites and are using them to control mutants, changing them into something far worse than they are now. My guess is, they figured out a way to use them as weapons. But we don't know how far they got before they were overrun and had to abandon the city. We need that data. There may be a way to reverse the process, but only if we understand the mutant experiments better. And if for nothing else, we can use the information to expose the real nature of the Authority. So, my friend, before we leave, you've got to help us find that data. We suspect you can find a copy of the data on the old servers. But to reach them, you'll have to get to the top floors of the research building and locate the network room. The main server will be there, somewhere. Find that data, and you'll have done another great service to the Resistance. Remember, the Authority knows you're around, and they'll be looking for you. Take anything from that crate you think you'll need. Good job. That will keep the road safer. Here's one. You look like you're off to cause you trouble. Mm -hmm. Care to browse my selections? I have all the best supplies. Pleasure doing business with you.
You have made one great find. It shows us all about the Authority's deadly plans. Trust me, this is a major blow to them, and a great day for our cause. Elizabeth had a good feeling about you. I may have to agree with her. But now it's time to say your goodbyes. Elizabeth has gone on ahead to make preparations for our arrival. Don't worry about the stuff in your garage. It'll be waiting for you. But we need to leave soon ourselves. The price on your head will only increase if you stay here. This place just isn't safe for you. We've deployed a communications scrambler, which should help mask our exit. So if you're with us, then come back here when you wrap up any loose ends, and we'll leave together. So, you ready to leave? Okay, have it your way. But I can't wait forever. Get whatever you need to do done, and get back here quickly. So, you ready to leave? Excellent. Let's go. Glad you decided to join us. You were probably just days away from the Authority finding you. But you've heard the expression, out of the frying pan? Well, welcome to the fire. Fighting the Authority is all I know. I've been doing it ever since my Ark emerged. I saw what they were doing. Nothing like this was supposed to happen after the asteroid hit. For once, our government had a good plan and good people in place to make it happen. But General Cross changed the timing of only a few arcs. Arcs filled with his people. And that changed the course of humankind. Now, it's our job to make sure it isn't forever. There's Crescent City, or what's left of it. Our base sits right below it. All right, come this way. Our base is just through that door. Lassard, Marshal here. Security code 1228. Roger, Captain. Welcome back. I see you have our guest. This way. Welcome to our little home. It's a bit of a mess, but we like it. All right, people. A little introduction of our new guest. You know he's an ARC survivor. He's also pretty tough gets the job done. I know he'll fit in well. In short, trust him. You see that arc, all in pieces over there? It was the one I was buried in. But now Lassard uses it as the brains of our operation. Nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Captain Marshall was buried in that thing, but I've re-rigged the systems, and now I can track most authority movements and communicate with our people around the wasteland. Precisely. And Elizabeth, you know. Good to see you again, and still in one piece. Actually, it's Dr. Cadence, and she's been getting closer to solving the riddle of the Authority's work with the mutants. Every little step brings me closer to the truth. And Jack Borkman, over there, he handles ordnance. If it shoots or explodes, he can help you with it. That's right, friend. It's like my birthday every day around here. Especially when my work helps take out some of the Authority bastards. And lastly, above us, keeping the lid tightly closed on our base of operations, is Saul. He runs the garage in town, and he's already got your stuff in a bay. You'll meet him when you go up. Okay, a couple things you need to know. Subway town above us? Well, it isn't Wellspring. They walk a fine line, keeping the authority at bay and also dealing with us. You'll have to be careful there. And the town's boss, Redstone. Be extra careful around him. He'd sell you out to the Authority in a heartbeat unless you're of use to him. 
Okay, so the first thing you need to do is get on Redstone's good side. See if he needs anything. Be of use to him. Otherwise, you're as good as dead. And then, you're useless to us. Think you'll be able to play his game? Good. And remember, get a feel for how things work around here. Be useful to them. Then we can start moving on to the serious stuff. Okay, it's clear for you to go up. You have to know, the human mutations weren't caused by cosmic radiation from the asteroid hit. The mutants were created by the Authority experimenting with nanotrites and humans. The failures were rejected and discarded into the wasteland like trash left to reproduce and spread. That's the truth, and that's what people need to know. So, you're the new team member. Well, welcome to Subway Town. I'm Saul. I run the garage here, but, uh, more importantly, I'd drop that car lift if the authorities start snooping around. Uh, but first, um, a couple of things you need to know. Your garage bay is through that door. I'll do all your repairs here and tow you back if you ever get yourself in trouble. You can find the race manager downstairs and the bars on this level. And more importantly for you, Redstone's office is upstairs. Remember, nothing and no one moves around here without his okay. So, don't waste any time. You go and see him. You new in town? I guess I should say welcome. Subway Town's got everything you need. Looking for a race? Head downstairs. Got extra stuff to sell? Then see Janny upstairs. I think you'll like it here. Hey, stranger. You looking to earn a little on the side? Brick Johnson, the guy that runs the bar, he's been having trouble with bandits stealing his liquor. He needs someone to take care of this problem. You should go see him. Hey, pal. Don't waste Hold the boss's time. Hold it right there. Time. Go see you him. You Marshall's new guy. Okay, you're new. That means that you don't exactly know how things work around here. So let me make it clear to you. This is my place, my town, and every bastard here answers to me. What I want, they do. So if you can help me do things, then we'll be fine. If not, then I have no use for you. Got that? So Marshall says you're the type that can get things done. Let's give you a little test, huh? My foreman is having mutant problems at the end of the Blue Line Tunnel. The things keep crawling back in. So go help him out. Think you can handle this? Good. Just prove yourself useful to me. And then I'll let you stay. Now, show me what you can do. And get the hell out of here. So you Redstone's new tough guy? Care to make a little extra on the side? Damn bandits causing trouble with my liquor suppliers. Making it difficult to get the good stuff down here. I would pay handsomely if you took to the roads and kill a few of those bandits. You take out an authority predator, and that'll count as two. Can you handle that? Well, alrighty then. Go kick some ass. Seen you. 
The boss called down, said to expect someone. You must be him. I got a big problem. Damn muties ripping through my work down here. They got this expansion operation just about shut down. My guess is they clawed their way into the Blue Line station, and now they're busting out all over down here. Someone's gotta stop them. So, it looks like you're the guy for the job. I'm glad you understand. You can get into their cave up on the surface by the canyon wall. Head as deep as you can.
Not bad. You made the cave muty free, and you're still alive. Guess Redstone picked the right guy for the job. I'll tell him what you've done. Hey, tough guy. My muscle and joints getting old, making it harder and harder for me to walk around these days. But I heard about a plant called Comet Bloom. Heard if I chew it, it'll make the pain go away. Problem is, I ain't got no way of getting it. You think you'll be able to help an old man like myself? Good, good. Where does that it grows You're way more from here, up deep in gear well, and territory? Robert said he saw some of it growing near a small crater. It might be the best place to look. You bring me some. Hey, you. <laughs> huh. You did a decent job. But banging up mutants ain't hard. But I know just the thing that would secure your place around here. Okay, so this is my town. But I still have to deal with the gearheads. They're not much more than a pack of wasteland bandits, but turns out they control all the electricity around here, and the price keeps going up. Get the picture? So I want to end their stranglehold on my town. Now, word on the street says they've combined feltrite with plutonium. If they've done that, and we can get our hands on it, that would solve our power problems for a long time. Here's where you come in. They got that stuff all locked up and guarded in an old vault somewhere in the bank above us. So I'm gonna need you to bust into that bank, get that vault open and get me that feltrite. You understand what I need? Here's what you do. You can get to a passageway into the bank if you go through the old subway offices just around the back. Here, take this key. It'll get you into the old management office. Then just go straight on through and up. By stopping the mutants, you made this town safer. Yeah! <laughs> 
Bang, bang, killer. Don't you be causing too much trouble. Hold on a minute. What the hell happened? I had good information about that Feltrite, and these canisters got nothing in them. So either you were trying to rip me off, or someone lied to me. Either way, this is a problem. Which means it's also a problem for you. If the gearheads even suspect I sent you there, they'll choke the power off. This calls for a more permanent solution. I need you to infiltrate their power plant, permanently redirect the power lead straight here, and then kill as many of those bastards as you can. Once the place is secure, my boys will be able to take over. Problem solved. But it starts with you. Now you do this for me. Get those damn gearheads off my back, and I'll give you free reign to do your business in my town. We see eye to eye on this. Good. We got a deal. Now, a little advice. That Cuprino you're driving, it's not gonna last long against what the gearheads have waiting for you. I would see about getting something with a little more fight in it. I've got no more time for you. Take care of the gearheads. Oh, if it isn't my old racing buddy. Back for some more whoop-ass loser, hmm? And just to make it interesting, if you beat me, <laughs> you win my Monarch. All yours. It's the best set of wheels money can buy. Now, how are you gonna refuse an offer like that? I'm ready to go when you are. Welcome, fans. We've got... I really can't believe you beat me. Must have been something I ate. You know, it made me drive all crazy. Well, here's the keys to the car. You'll find it in your garage, but I'm gonna get another one, and then I'll be back. You just wait.
Well, hello there, cutie. Please tell me what I can do for you. Name's Janny. I buy, I sell, I try to make a little money. Helps me keep my head above water. I got your basic and primo supplies. You need it, I got it. And if I don't got it, you probably don't need it. <laughs> so, what you looking for? Always a pleasure, my friend.
Ночь братва! for their own medicine. Go 
see Redstone. I'm sure he'll be glad to hear the news. Telling us where we can go and where we can't. That just makes me so... Back off. a fine line between getting yourself killed and making friends, don't you? Now, on to important things. We've got authority patrols in town. They don't know what you look like, so you should be fine, but we need to move quickly. See Lassard. He's been working on decrypting your ID drive. As the captain has told you earlier, getting the information off your ID drive is critical for us. But there are some sectors that I can't access with the single decryptor I have. I'm gonna need to run two decryptors in parallel if I want to get to those sectors, 
And that's where you come in. Captain's got a contact in the north. He's heard rumors that an Ark emerged in the Jackal Valley. And let me tell you, if the Jackals were the first people those Ark survivors met, then they were dead in minutes. But the important thing is that the Jackals probably left that Ark intact, which means you should be able to recover their decryptor and get it back here. So, I need you to go north to the Jackal Valley. Find the Jackals are a dangerous bunch of bandits. You watch yourself.
Excellent work. Just give me a second to analyze this data. Hey, Captain. Take a look at this. Incre Incredible's right. This is exactly what we've been waiting for. It is, quite simply, the key to everything. The location, codes, and re-entry times for every arc buried on Earth is right here. This data is nothing less than a second chance for civilization. Maybe our last chance. With this, we can strike at the heart of the Authority. We can use the codes in your ID drive to free all the arcs that the Authority has imprisoned beneath the Earth. For years, we've developed plans to get someone inside Capital Prime. Into the heart of the monster. But we never had the capability to deliver a fatal blow. Until today. If there's a future, it begins with this. The war starts now. First thing is, we need access to the Eastern Lands, and the only way to do that is by knocking out the Authority Security Bridge. C. Portman has got a plan worked out for that. Now, we finally get to hit the Authority. I've been waiting for this. You ready? To get across the bridge and into the Eastern Lands, you'll need to knock out the power generator that controls the defenses. Trick is, the only safe way to access the bridge is down the ravine and up the lift. Not easy. But once you're around the defenses, you'll be able to blow the generator to hell. I'll give you the explosive charges. You just need to make it down the ravine alive. Got all that? Good. And the Authority has a small blockade near the ravine entrance in the north. Once you blow that, they will know you're coming. Don't waste time. Get down the ravine and to the bridge as quickly as possible. Need safe passage? We're ready to leave.
Great work. That'll make them think twice about getting too far from base. Now, before you go running into Capital Prime, I think you should take some extra firepower with you. Grab that authority pulse cannon. I liberated it from a dead guard. <laughs> Place. You are ready to go. You've done a great job, soldier. But now, it gets serious. One last mission for you. Codes are ready. You'll be able to walk right in. Uploading them to you now, sir. This is it. What we've been planning for, for so many years coming. But now, we will be able to hit the authority where it hurts. You'll have to get inside the heart of the Authority itself, Capital Prime. Get to the Arc Control System and upload the data from your ID drive. That'll trigger the emergence of the remaining Arcs. No one has ever entered Capital Prime and returned. No one knows what could be waiting for you. But if you are successful at raising the remaining Arcs, then we've got plans and people in place, ready to support those that emerge. Ready to build an army to fight the Authority. The days ahead won't be easy. They still have a massive technological edge, and no one knows the size of the mutant force they're building. But there's hope. Because of what you are about to do, there's a chance to change the course of mankind forever. Take this code cipher. You'll be able to access any personnel entrance near Capital Prime's main gate. The entrance will be heavily guarded, but I know you can do it. Mankind's future depends on you now. Godspeed, soldier. There's nothing left for you to do here. Take the fight to the heart of Capital Prime. You've done... friend, are truly one hell of an ass kicker. Keep those kills coming, and I'll keep paying. Back off. Pick up that can. Feel free to look around. Maybe you'll find something you like. Anytime you need something, come back and see me.
personnel detected. Attention, non-security personnel. Secure stations and move to green zones. Copy that. All groups continue search.
Jesus. Transmission. Stand by. File upload sequence initiated. 